I'm in Florida. I just got to the apartment after a 16 hour drive from Missouri to Florida and now I can't leave. I'm just gonna look in here. Okay then. I was supposed to go run some errands and you know, do my thing, but we can't find the car keys. What are we gonna do? Our Bucky's nuts are in there. Oh my God, the pecans. The pecans and the and the cat. Uh. Oh. Fuck the cashews. Oh, okay. My phone is slipping out of my hand. That's how moist it is outside. Can we sit on the like shade sidewalk? Yeah, well, do you want to like walk to somewhere? We around? could take the bus to like downtown and then maybe sit somewhere there. We could do that. We could do that. All right, let's see what's around here. Okay. I'm gonna fix my purse a little so that everything fits better. Calabash restaurant. Oh, that's the name of my elementary school. Do you want to tell them what happened or should I? Shut the fuck up. We're in the car. So we have the keys. So the locksmith came and we got in nope. and now we're here. <laughs> nope, nope. So uh, when we were in the apartment, I said, are they in your bag? And then they said, no, they're not in there. Then we checked the entire apartment and we looked in the car. We walked to a coffee shop. I was sweating. I was melting. It was awful. Look, Bubba, a plane. Oh, Allegiant. <laughs> Um, I was like, okay, so it's not in your bag. First place that I thought it was, I said, is it, is it in your bag? You said, no, it's not in my bag. We got to the coffee shop after walking in the hot sun. They pull out their wallet. Where are the keys? In the bag. <laughs> I said, didn't you- That bag was in my fucking backpack. There, I, in my brain, there was no way that there- It doesn't matter. No, I said, what? is it in your- Toxic. Toxic. No. I like to think of it as you and I versus the problem, and you are thinking of it as you versus me. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not thinking I you. told you to check the bag. I did. You didn't check the no, bag. No, I said, is it, it in you your bag? Do you want a metal? I do. I want a cookie. Fine, I'll make it out of the car key. I said, is it in your bag? And you said, no. In my brain, I said, if they said no, it's not in my bag, they checked the bag. Because we checked the fridge. We checked the trash can. We checked... Everywhere I checked under the bed, I checked under the couch, behind the TV. Like this is. I checked everywhere. You checked everywhere. I said, "Is it in your bag?" You said, "No." It was in. It was in the bag. This is really rich coming from you. What does that mean? You lose ten things a day. I have ADHD. <laughs> oh, ah. Oh. Let's go. I look like a mess and I'm editing. This video was supposed to be up yesterday, but I lost, I don't know what happened to it, but a lot of my footage is gone. It's only of the first day. So I thought I would do a little summary for you. But essentially we went to Kava. We're at Kava. And if you've never been to Kava and you have one near you, you need to go to Kava. I didn't bring a bathing suit with me because I didn't think I was gonna leave Missouri and go to Florida. I don't have any swimsuits. So we went to look for some and I found zero bathing suits that fit me. Then we went to go visit my partner's sister and found a baby duckling. Found this baby duckling outside and it was shivering because ducklings have to stay at 90 oh, degrees oh, and so we bought a heat lamp and then called a rescue line so that we could give the duckling to the rescue they say that you should hold newborns close to the heart but i think you should hold them close to the boobs he's becoming revived we're in the car i know it's super dark is it eight nine we were waiting to see if we could find somewhere that would pick up the chicks or we could or not chicks ducklings or if we could drop them off and they were looking for a volunteer and then they just gave us the address so we're gonna go drop them off without ac without ac in the car in florida <laughs> because they need to stay hot but we got like an infrared light in the meantime that they were staying under and they were doing a lot better one of them has bumblefoot syndrome and so we named him bumble which i know you're not supposed to name animals that you rescue or like see stray that is fooey fooey that is so no. no, you're not supposed to name him because you get attached to him. That is such bull. It's not bull. But we named one Bumble because he has Bumblefoot syndrome. I know, baby. It's okay. And then they're striped in yellow, so we named the other one B. There they are. We'll keep you updated. I am so sweaty. We were going to go into the ocean at some point in the day. We had a whole day planned. We had a whole day planned. We were, like, going to go to the beach. We were going to do our stuff. We were going to work. Like, everything was going to go for a nice, a nice run, run, walk, you know. And edit. Yeah, no. Have a nice dinner. Yeah, no. None of that worked out. We have not eaten since lunch, which we got to eat. But we got to drop off the little babies first. Hello, little babies. We can't plan getting stung by a bump. It's like the cat distribution system, but the it duck the distribution system. system. Okay, this light is not helping with me being hot, so I'm turning it off. I'll see you when we're duckless. So we dropped off the ducklings, came home, and then I have the rest of the footage for the next day. Good freaking morning. I look horrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's the next day. We gave the ducks to a rescue, and the girl who got them from us was like the sweetest ever. She was like giving us like bird facts which was fun it literally took forever when i tell you we waited with these ducks 
all day because we didn't really do much we really just took care of the ducks all day but we like were running around looking for heat lamps and like we texted a rescue line but then they gave us to another line and luckily my partner's sister is an amazing cook and so we left to go drop the ducks at like this parking lot where we met up with the girl from the rescue and she already had like a full-blown pasta like ready for us and not like oh like she put sauce in a pot and heated it up and then added pasta to it no like she like made a sauce girl made a whole feast while we were gone <laughs> And it was delicious. I ended up eating outside and then it got really hot really fast. So I came back inside and I started editing and stuff. And then a giant wasp came into the room and scared the actual living shit out of me. This is my blue sports bra. It fits me more like a tank top because of how long this section is. But I got it from Target and it was only like $10, $15 at most. And it's really cute and it fits really well. So I'm wearing this and then I think I'm going to wear these gray shorts i have the same ones in blue and i was gonna do blue on blue but they're two different blues and then i feel like i would look like a blue marker i went to it's not a thrift store it was like a it's called like retro discount mart or something like that and it was in springfield missouri and it's essentially like the goodwill bins i posted this on tiktok but it's like the goodwill bins where you have to dig through a bunch of stuff but everything is brand new and i got like four pairs of these lululemon dupes that are on amazon for 2.99 each which is nuts they cut me really well and they're from the brand hey nuts i think is what it's called literally everything looks the same as lululemon even the tag small little issue is that my sports bra is too long and my shorts are too long and so they like overlap it's no longer a sports bra and like shorts it looks like a bodysuit but I feel cute. The light in here is garbage. Final fit, blue sports bra tank top thing, my gray shorts, white converse, and some little braids. You wanna show them your fit? White shirt, shirt. pants, shoes. I call this the asking for it look. What does that even mean? Cause when I wear all white, I'm just asking for somebody to throw some dirt on me. Oh, we're both wearing white shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> got back from the climbing gym and are hungry again and we have yet to go grocery shopping and so we still have no food and so I was like okay what do we want to eat this one over here goes kava <laughs> I was like we had kava yesterday are we getting kava okay guess we're not getting kava no okay so we're getting kava no. okay <laughs> Kava it is. Let's go. This is so fun. I get to take videos of your butt. We're walking to the car and somebody goes, do you have the keys? And I was like, oh my God. No, I don't have the keys. Do you have the keys? And you went, at this point, they're just gonna think you're lying. I swear I'm not lying. I literally, I was like, do you have the keys? He went, no. And then I turned around to start walking towards the house. And this is where it gets crazy. And I heard a jiggle. I look over. No. She hears a jiggle. I look a over. A jiggle? I look over. I'm like, hmm, that's weird. Uh, no, something in her pants. <laughs> and I walked up behind her and I put my hand like on her butt and I was like, uh, there's something in here. The keys were in her butt crack in her pants. <laughs> I heard a jingle. Girl can clench. And so, I <laughs> and so I turned around. I was like, do you have the keys? You go. No, that was that was the the edge of my bag, the little zipper on the bag. You make me sound like such a nervous dude. And so I start walking towards the house again, and somebody comes up and pulls behind me. And goes, wait, you have something on your butt. She grabs my butt, and like, oh my god, the keys! I don't know how you walked all the way to the car with those in between your butt. <laughs> I love you. You have my wallet in there too. <laughs> Let's go. Yesterday I didn't really show what I get, so I might as well do that today. 
However, this is not like my go-to order because I don't really get the same thing every time. But I don't have a fork. Yeah, I'll go get you a fork. Fork. Thank you. I get a greens and grains bowl with the saffron rice and arugula. This time I got braised lamb and falafel, but I switch it up with like chicken and stuff. I have pickled onions, tomatoes and onions, cucumbers, roasted red pepper hummus, tzatziki, and more roasted red pepper hummus. And they wanted to get this shirt because it's only $3. Are you looking for a new summer dress? Because it could fit like a dress. I don't know, am I, maybe I should wear this to go see Mateo. <laughs> Mateo. So we went to a fruit stand yesterday to buy some fruit because the fruit at the store was bad. It wasn't bad, it was just like... Not as good. It wasn't very good. And so we were like, hey, why don't we go to like a fruit stand? We went to this fruit stand and there was this like hunk of a Salvadorian man. Okay. His name is Mateo. He has like the <laughs> bright, like, were they green? I'll talk about it. Mateo is probably the most gorgeous man okay. I've ever seen in my life. He seriously, life. he's like tall, handsome. And he has looked light at eyes. me. He was like, "Do you live here?" And I just said, "I said yes." You know. I was like, "Yep." Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. I don't like. What do you use for your face? What do I use for my face? Yeah. And you will see all of the dead skin cells. That is horrifying. What was the last time you took a shower? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you're a clean person. You obviously take care of yeah, yourself. Yeah, very clean. So what do you say? Do you still some going just for the main treatment? Or do you want to get the full set and enjoy them for all time? I can't do this. I was trying to bail you out. We're using it? Yeah, I want you to put it on my face. And you have to get rid of those blackheads. I felt so uncomfortable. I need to buy this from this man or else he's gonna continue to keep talking to me, which is how they get you. So I bought it, <laughs> and I don't want it. And now I feel like I can't buy the thing that I was coming to the mall for, because that would be spending more money. I look a mess, but we just made it to the beach, and I have literally never been happier, because look at the time. It's like almost sundown, it looks so nice, it feels so good, because it's not like a million degrees, and the water, don't even get me started on the water. The water is literally so, so nice. I, I am happy. We're gonna end the night at the beach and then go home and eat dinner and go to bed. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching and thank you for being here with me on this hell of a journey. Literally don't even remember what happened. We found ducklings. We got locked out of the apartment. So much has happened in so little time. So thank you for watching. You look cute today. I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.